There's a peculiar geological phenomenon near Chehalis, Washington. Hundreds of mounds of earth perplex visitors every day, and their origin is unknown. Well, clearly this is a part of the earth that is just very sensitive to cold, and so they're, they're just big goosebumps. Maybe the earth in that area is alive, and it's been bumped on the head a couple times. I was under the impression that a mima mound was a baked good. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, monster gophers. I have very strong opinions that it isn't giant gophers. What do you think it is? It's absolutely glacial melt. My father was a geologist. It's not giant gophers. I like the giant gopher mound idea. I think that's really cool. A lot of people think they're the glaciers melting. I guess it makes sense, but I like the gophers. I think it's all the hopes and dreams of everyone who's ever existed under the ground pushing up. Well, in Tenino, we have a little bit of a different take on the Mima Mounds. You ever gone to a dog park before? And you've seen owners, like, they, you know what they do with their dogs there, but they don't pick up after the dogs. So imagine that, but it, for Sasquatch. Well, I know exactly what they are. I mean, I, we, we researched this. Apparently, it's an ancient burial ground for the mima bird. So they would just go into these mounds, and the other mima birds use their feathers and just push the dirt over, and they become a big mound of mima birds. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's really, and this, this is a fact. I've been studying the Mimo Mounds for a long time now. What I've discovered is that they're made of a genetic material that's often found on the backs of goats. I mean, you know, I'm not above believing in aliens or, you know, supernatural, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I just saw two aliens walk by. How many people knew they were around? <laughs> In 1947, an aircraft pilot flying out of the Chehalis Airport reported seeing dozens of flying saucers. Is it possible that there were actually hundreds and that they buried their spacecrafts in the ground to hide them? Thank you.